64 Valiant Steed here and I wanted to show you these uh, freshly restored vintage plates that I have that I'm going to be putting on my car. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking them down to the Department of Motor Vehicles tomorrow. I found a guy online called Finish Your Plates. I sent these to him and he did a great job. You can find him on eBay also. He also does other state plates and he sells plates that he's got so you might just if you don't have a set that you want to have restored you can pick up a pair from him anyway so since I'll be going down a DMV I wanted to go over what I found online as to how you go ahead and do the year of manufacture uh, that's the YOM specialty plates and first off you've got to have two plates if you only have one you cannot go out and look online there are companies or people who will press you a plate out of aluminum now this is one of the novelty 1964 uh, that you can put in a window or something but you cannot drive around with a plate like this it's illegal and you cannot take down uh, to the DMV a pressed plate that you found online they will be checking them with magnets to make sure but I'll just stick this right here because I have a 1964 Valiant as you haven't noticed from all the videos and so what I've found online I've been researching to see what other people have put on there about having their plates uh, put on their car so this is the list and I'll go ahead everything uh, from the person who restored them and all the information I will be putting underneath the video um, in the description okay so you'll want to bring in your plates uh, you'll want to take the plates off of your car and bring them in with you so be prepared when you get to the DMV to take them off so you have your tools that you need for that you're going to need current registration your like I, I'm my plates are due in January and this is January so I'm bringing my my current uh, vehicle registration renewal notice I'm hiding everything because you don't need to know my name and address you will want to also bring just in case I don't know everybody says it's a little different everywhere you go but your certificate of title your pink slip you'll also want to bring in your insurance card to show that you're currently registered with insurance you can print out a form on the DMV website for the year of manufacture it's form 352 you can go ahead and type all this information in on the computer before you print it out Now, also, they're going to issue, from what I understand, a couple of metal tags. I went ahead and bought some ahead of time because I, just in case they give me my registration sticker, which I don't know if they'll do that day, but uh, these will kind of do something like that. And this is where I'll be putting my current tag every time I get one every year because month goes here and the sticker that's going to belong here is going to be you have to get a sticker for the year of your car since mine is a 64 I have to have uh, one of these stickers so it's going to do something like that and this is all on you they're going to give you a month sticker it's going to be blue but the old ones are like this and this is what I wanted so it gives it that nice cool look and if, as you might have seen I have a picture here this is a guy this is he has a 69 vehicle and if you can see he's got his 1969 sticker on there and then they gave him the paper to put in the window but when he got all done he got the blue April sticker here He's got his 1969 sticker there and he has his current tag down below like that. So that's basically what that's for. 
Now the other thing is, is you're going to have to have the money for the fees, so make sure you bring your cash or check. And in case the DMV agent doesn't know when they're typing up things in the computer, there's a code, and it's called S as in special and P as in plate, so special plates. And once you do that, uh, and you know that, just in case the agent doesn't know it, that will be helpful. So if you bring all that stuff, then you know you'll be set. You won't have to do a lot of running back and forth. But I'll let you know when I have these on the car, just uh, how well it went at the DMV after I go there tomorrow. Now, um, now this is the next step uh, is putting on my stickers. You know that when you take a sticker and you put it on a car or you put it on a window or may it be a license plate like this, once you set it down, that's pretty much it. And you cannot move it around. So many a years ago, I used to work with a sign painter. And we used to do vinyl lettering on windows and on some signs. And he taught me something that I still use today. How to place a sticker down and be able to move it around and then set it the way you want it so that you have a little bit of time in case it's not perfect because once you put this on here you know if it's crooked it's crooked that's not going to come off so first thing you do is get yourself a bowl of water and then get yourself some dish soap. Put a little bit of oh, put a little bit of dish soap in there. Now I gotta wipe that up. I water down my dish soap because it's really strong. It's dawn. I'm not trying to sell dish soap. What you want to do is make sure that there's a little bit of slipperiness that you can feel and just add a little bit until you get a nice you, you, you can feel how slick that is when I'm done I'll do dishes with this because otherwise it's a waste haste makes waste right so what you do once you get that to a consistency where you feel like that's pretty good. I'm going to want to take this sticker and get the backing off. I'm hoping that this sticker works well for me being that it's so old. It should. Oh, it's still sticky. It's a really old sticker. I'm just going to put that in the water a little bit so that it's not sticking to my fingers. Now this is an old sticker, like I just said, and I notice it started cracking on me since I've had it. So I definitely want to use it. So get your sticker in the water. It's not going to ruin the adhesive. What it's going to do is give you an opportunity to move it around as such. And then you're going to want to place your sticker where you want it. And being that I work with a sign painter and done uh, commercial art and stuff like that, you have to have a good eye. And that's pretty good. So what you do is you lot it. It's going to move around a little bit because it's soapy. But that's not a problem. Let's move the bowl. This is that security you have. You have some time to make sure that it's where you want it. Once you get it where you want it, you use a squeegee, but since I don't really have a squeegee, you can use your rubber spatula. I'm just taking the tip off. Wow. It's very 
very slippery. And sort of squeegee the water out from underneath. You see there's more water there. Keep doing it. It will start to get harder to move around. Work from the center out. See there's water that squeegees out from underneath it. Now it's getting a little bit to where you can't really move it around, which is exactly what you want. And then eventually it'll dry and you'll be good to go. I'm not going to do the other one on camera, but I just wanted to show you how well that worked. You can see it's pretty straight. Let's see, look at this. Make sure it's where I want it. Yeah, it's good enough. I could still move it probably just a little bit, but once you start squeegeeing the water out from underneath it, it's 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 not going to move around like it did a minute ago. So there you go. Look at that. It's going to be nice. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video, and I will update you once they're on the car. I'll take a video, and if there's other information at the DMV that I need to learn to share with everybody, I'll do so. Alright, thanks for watching.